Greetings, welcome to the Witching Hour. In this video, I'll be drawing Katsuki Bakugo from Boku no Hero Academia. Again, I started the anatomy before I started recording, I'm sorry about that, but here it is. I decided on a more action-y pose than my Deku drawing, which you can check out in the description and on my channel. Now that I finished the anatomy, I moved on to the first sketch layer, where I do a rough pass of what the final drawing will look like. The little picture that just popped up is of a cosplay, specifically the wig, because hair is something I struggle with so I wanted a bit of help. Now I've moved on to the costume, specifically the shoulder things, I don't know what they are or the purpose, but it looks very Bakugo, I can give it that. Now the backstory to this piece is honestly not that interesting, but here it is. Now my sister is a big fan of Bakugo, he's not really my favourite, but I guess he's alright. I honestly don't agree with half the things he does, but I can see the appeal. All right. So back to the story, my sister's birthday was a few days ago at the time this will be posted and she wanted me to draw him. So that's how this piece came into existence and it might be also why I put a bit more effort into it. Don't tell her I said that. Here I am working on the costume a bit more. I have to say, Bakugo put a lot of effort into his costume design. It's so detailed, it's honestly kind of amazing. Cause like most of the other costume designs weren't all that detailed. Like if you remember Todoroki's first um, costume, it was something. Now I've started the second sketch layer where I'll put in more detail. I also flip the canvas so I can just see things better. You know, have a different perspective and all that. I've actually always wondered what, like, what Bakugo's, like, headpiece things are. Like, how do they attach to his head? I mean, I might just be blind to how they work, but how do they work? Like, are they, like, large hair clips? Like, how? How does it work? I want to know. I feel like I put too much, like, thought into what goes on in these shows for my own good. Now I flipped the canvas back and started fixing a couple of things I didn't like, mainly the angle of the head, I just felt it was kind of like weird and it looked like his neck was broken, so I just fixed it. The skin colour took me a bit just because I've seen so many drawings of Bakugo that I couldn't remember the right undertones, but I think I got there in the end, so it's all fine. Honestly though, it's kind of interesting how many different undertones I've seen Bakugo's, like, entire being have, really. A lot of people try and go much colder with the colours, but like, I've seen so many where they're like, very warm toned. I honestly don't know, because his hair is very pale, but like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. 
Now the base colours take a lot of time for me. I'm honestly thinking that I should fix this, but I haven't the slightest how. If someone watching this has tips, please leave a comment. It'll be greatly appreciated because honestly it takes ages for me to do base colours and I don't know why. It might be because I don't have like clipping mode things, just on the program I use I don't think that's a thing. Well, they say they have something else but I couldn't figure out how to use it so I just decided against. So now I just have to select every single part and try and like colour it in. It is time consuming and it's not the most fun thing in the world. Something I was a bit scared of for this drawing was all the metal. As I said in my Deku video, I'm not the best at rendering materials, so with all of this, well, material, I was a bit leery of it and I really didn't want to do it honestly. But I had to because it's Bakugo and he enjoys being overly complicated to draw. Now that I've finished the base colours, I'm moving on to shading. I almost always start with the skin just because I think it gives the piece lots of like life from the beginning and it makes it just a little bit nicer to work on. I, didn't, I don't really think I made his expression like quite angry enough honestly, it looks more like he's happy which is a strange thing but I don't know, I feel like it works just because his face isn't like the main focus of the piece, even though it kind of is but not really, I don't know. The hair was a bit of a unique challenge as I was extremely unsure of the texture of it so I kind of just did what I wanted and hoped it was good enough. It probably doesn't look that bad like in the end but at this point I didn't like it at all. On to my least favourite thing, rendering. Honestly I did this in a really basic way but I think it turned out well enough. I'm probably gonna do like some sort of video where I try and learn rendering just because I probably need to. Because at this point, I don't know, I just feel like everything else is up to a standard and then here I am just struggling with trying to make metal look like metal. I don't know, it just feels a bit sad. This is where I noticed that the grenade handle was slightly weird perspective wise, so I moved it around a bit. It was rather nerve wracking honestly because like I was scared that I wouldn't get it right this time either and I just spent like this entire time moving it, but it turned out that the first time I moved it, it looked good enough. This is where I started on his clothes. I basically did some basic like shading and tried to keep the form in mind. I think it turned out good enough, like not the best but not terrible. And this is where I randomly started working on the grenades, for no reason whatsoever, I don't know. So I tried doing something a little bit different here, I tried giving the grenades like an emboss on each bit that sticks out, I don't know about grenades honestly, I don't know what they're called. I'm not sure if I really translated that perfectly in the final but I tried to do something, you know, I think that's cool. Although I think it would have been better if I tried doing like the little crosses that he has, like the one on his shirt, I don't know, maybe that would have been more like reminiscent of the Bakugo like members of the agency, Baku, I'm sorry. The song popped into my head. 
Anyway, I started working on the trousers. Honestly, I kind of messed up on them because I just didn't cross my mind that these are baggy trousers. Which makes the folds of fabric different just because of how like baggy trousers and like more like like uh, skin tight trousers work. I'm not sure how I missed it, it's very obvious, but I did so it looks a bit interesting, let's call it that. It doesn't look terrible but it just looks like I kind of forgot how cloth works. So I don't know if it's very visible and now that I've pointed it out it probably is. I'm sorry if it looks weird. I did something quite experimental in this piece. Explosions! I did this in a very weird way where I only looked at the reference after I drew the thing. Don't do that, it's not smart. It just makes you like panic because you notice all the differences and then it's like, do I change it or do I just leave it? I decided to leave it because I was getting very lazy. This drawing took me like three hours, like maybe basically four hours actually. So I kind of just stopped. I was bored. Okay, so I put a bit of knowledge into this part. I tried to make it seem that the explosion behind Bakugo is older, so it's fizzing out and has more smoke, than the one he's just igniting on his other palm. Also, these are just random questions. Does Bakugo's quirk only work in his palms, or can it just work everywhere? Also, would he be able to train himself to have more explosion sites? I don't know, it's just random questions I have, and I'm giving them to the world answer. I don't know, I feel like these might be answered in like maybe the manga. I haven't been able to re read the manga honestly, um, I really want to. Maybe at some point I'll be able to get my hands on it. This is where I started the lighting again. I put effort into this piece, it's just amazing to me. How I managed to like put lighting and everything. As for the type of lighting I'm doing, it's very simple basic lighting. It's basically where you take some sort of shading colour and then you take parts out of that and use that as a like lighted bit. I tried to make the source of light just his um, explosions, so that's why it looks a bit strange. <laughs> now it's time for background. I had a vague idea of what I wanted, but it took a while to figure out completely, just because like I had basically two different ideas. One, I kind of wanted to emulate like the scene this was from, and two, I wanted to just do something completely different. As you can see, I tried to keep the graffiti style background as a theme from the Deku drawing. I thought it'd be cool, maybe I could do a set of these. Comment if you'd like to see more Boku no Hero themed content. And here's the finished piece. I quite like it and I hope my sister does as well. Please subscribe, like and share, it really helps with the channel and all that. I'll see you next time.